Hi, my name is Sandra Latarska and I'm so glad to see you in Come to Study. Today, me and my guests, we are going to tell you a little bit about Nicolas Copernicus University. The program is co-financed by the Polish National Agency for Academic Exchange. Did you know that at Nicolas Copernicus University we have a Deputy Director of Equality? Do you know what does it mean and what is this person doing? Stay with us and let's find out. Each year over 2 million tourists visit Torunia's old town. It's the city's pride. And for that reason, the city's authorities try to provide their guests with the best conditions and a friendly atmosphere. Among the visitors, you'll meet people of diverse cultures and nationalities. Many of them spend only a few hours or several days in the city, but more and more stay here for longer, also bonding their professional lives with Toronya. The Nikolaus Copernicus University invests all their efforts in creating a place where skin color, religion, gender, sexual orientation or age do not affect professional development and have no impact on treatment by superiors and other employees. The Nikolaus Copernicus University is a university that promotes inclusiveness and diversity and is open to other cultures. Professor Alexandra Dera scientifically covers, among others, contemporary philosophy of science and the problem of gender in scientific institutions. She was also one of the co-organizers of postgraduate gender studies at the Faculty of Humanities of the Nikolaus Copernicus University. Since 2020, she has been the Rector's Plenipotentiary for Equal Treatment. Diversity is important because it brings new, innovative, various ideas from marginalized groups. Uh, it brings perspectives from different cultures, which results in better research, more friendly workplace and more successful studies. Hello, nice to see you. Hello. Uh, I have a question for you. What's uh, inclusiveness and diversity and what is its significance for internationalization of universities? So let's start from inclusivity. So I would say that it's a kind of practice and set of policies which aims at uh, everyone feeling at home at university. Doesn't matter the nationality, ethnicity, gender, age, uh, economic class or sexual orientation, that they feel at home, that they feel welcome. Uh, metaphorically speaking, I would say it means they feel at home. Uh, and diversity, it's taken into account and embraced somehow um, the differences between people and groups of people. That uh, we are coming from certain group and this group is uh, unique for itself. But additionally, we meet people for who are coming from different groups. And all these differences we would like to take into account as beneficial. And it directs me to internationalization. Uh, it's a kind of European standard, at least at uh, European Union, that if we would like to be international uh, research university, we have to possess skills, attitude and competence to have something which we call intercultural knowledge, that we can uh, deal with uh, research and classroom and cultural stuff uh, with different groups of people coming from different countries, but also coming from different cultures. So uh, internationalization is not just to have foreign students and foreign staff and foreign workers, uh, but to include also all uh, benefits they are uh, coming with from different backgrounds. And what is the scope of uh, activities of the Deputy Director of Equality? Oh, it's a difficult question, but just to cut a long story short, I would um, say the following thing. Um, I represent Rector uh, in uh, proceeding with policies uh, which are aiming at uh, environment which is uh, violence and discrimination free for all people dealing with research, work um, and studies within university. Uh, it means uh, several things. Uh, I would just name three. First is education. 
So uh, if you want to promote equality, diversity, inclusiveness, a lack of discrimination, you have to educate people on very different levels. Um, second thing is uh, promoting such, uh, um, let's call it policies, but also practices, which makes all people being included. Um, and finally, I have to react to some cases of discrimination if people are calling me or contacting me and saying that something worries them or they've been treated uh, unequally or they feel like they are discriminated. So I'm here to judge if they are right and try to fix the problem. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And who can ask you for help, how they can do it and how this help will look like? Um, when we were thinking about this position, uh, the first uh, assumption has been that uh, everyone can contact me. I mean, by everyone, I mean every person who is a member of community of Nikolaus Copernicus University. And it doesn't matter if you are work here as a teacher, as a researcher, or you're a student, or you're a worker in administration, for example, but also if you're coming for like postdoc for three months. You're becoming a member of uh, this uh, university, so you can always uh, contact me if you've noticed something which you would call anti-discriminatory action. Um, you can do it via email, you can do it uh, by calling me, uh, all data are on the website. Um, and also, um, I have to underline that I proceed with confidentiality, so it means that all uh, people who are contacting me can rely on confidential uh, dialogue and I will uh, use the name only if they agree to. But I can also proceed uh, some actions without uh, noticing who was informing me. If I decide together with Rector that uh, something is wrong within this matter, uh, we can proceed without any names. I'm underlying that because in these cases a lot of people are afraid to do so. Uh, but I, as I said, uh, all my meetings are confidential and all exchange of emails is confidential as well. Mm -hmm. And what behaviors and situations can we see and that can worry us uh, might be a matter of uh, inequal treatment? Oh, it's a range of actions, very difficult to describe in one sentence, but let me try. Mm. I would say, first of all, uh, personally, you can feel that you're discriminated. And discrimination means that you're treated in uh, similar circumstances or the same circumstances differently than others because of, I don't know, your age, your gender, your economic position, uh, your position at the university and so on. Um, secondly, you can notice something. You can notice within the class, within the working place, that people are not treated respectfully, uh, that uh, some, um, let's say, um, labor laws are not really provided and so on. But also what I really um, would like to provide to this whole community of Nikolaus Copernicus University is this idea that maybe we have some um, ideas how to make this university more open, inclusive, uh, place for everyone. Um, so, um, in order to be sure that you are discriminated, you have to also learn what discrimination is. And, and we're coming back to this idea of education, of trainings, of saying that um, our place at the university is place for everyone and to treat everyone with respect. And uh, one of our initiatives uh, really um, is in great compi compliance with this idea, which is UFE because UFE is an um, international European consortium which is aiming at the institution uh, uh, which is free of violence, free of discrimination and friendly for research, work and studies. Okay, thank you so much for your conversation. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.